Good morning, everyone. Today's video is going to be a spinoff of uh, the Body at Ease video that I put out um, before, and it, it's going to be talking more in depth of one of the techniques that are used to put your body at ease. The main focus of today's video is going to be breathing and the different types of techniques of breathing, or at least that I've researched. Uh, I want to share with you all today in hopes that it might help you out. Um, but before I get into that, I just want to speak to the importance of maintaining a controlled breathing. Um, for any of you who probably practice martial arts or sports or um, uh, boxing, so that sort, um, one of the first things they'll probably tell you or you've heard um, in your training has been to control your breathing. And it's because at any given moment that you don't end up controlling your breathing, you, you there's no power behind your technique, whether it's a grip a punch or a kick there's no power into it and what you do is you don't have the energy you start to fade and you get exhausted and you tire yourself out before before the fight even goes underway you're already you're already lost um i feel like this is an important thing to bring into our day-to-day -day usage as well there's many times throughout our day-to-day -day basis that we're out doing things and we lose our core and we get upset over things and our breathing becomes a, like sporadic it's not it's not controlled we start being shortness of breath we're unable to keep our focus and it's because of this lack of control of breathing um and these techniques that i'm bringing in here they all are showing an influence or a perspective of controlling your breathing to control your state your state of mind your state at ease your your body and how you're feeling um i'm these are just a couple of them that i've researched lately um and essentially i'm just bringing the main concept of each and every one of them to you just in hopes of it might helping anybody who is watching this and uh so you can see where holding the main focus on certain things can help control your breathing so probably one of the most simplest ones uh i believe is called pursed lips um, breathing which is essentially just a simple technique of you breathing through your nose and as you release you're kind of like pursing your lips together like if you're whistling to exhale and oftentimes we'll probably do this one we won't even realize it when we're super stressed I do this all the time and my wife immediately looks at me and is like what what's going on so she knows that I'm stressed and I'm not conscious of doing it but um, it's probably one of the easiest or simplest ones to do. And uh, this one can easily be done at any given time, at any given moment, on your day-to-day -day basis. If you're just in a feeling like you're a bit overwhelmed, that breathing in through your mouth, representation all the good that you want to breathe into you, and exhaling all the negativity and stress that no longer serves you. The reason why I say this is one of the basic ones is because this one carries over to many of the ones that I'm going to mention. Um, there's one in particular, it's called box breathing, if I'm not mistaken. Whereas essentially, it's a controlled state of the process. It's kind of, you break down the breathing into a mechanical aspect. So you're breathing in for probably four, three seconds. You hold for the same amount of time. And then you release. And then you hold for the same amount of time. And you repeat the cycle, making sure that the the time intervals between breathing, holding, releasing, and holding again is equivalent. So you have that box formation of breathing. And what this does, especially in a time where you are very, very um, overwhelmed or, or overpowered by the circumstances you're concentrating on controlling your breathing so your main focus comes directly to self it comes towards your breath you are manipulating and controlling when the oxygen is coming to your lungs how long it's staying in there for when is it coming out and how long are you holding without oxygen before you bring it back into yourself again so it's a very easy way to take your mind off of what's going on on out there into your breathing and your train of thought and your thinking um 
another one that is mentioned is um alternating nostril breathing essentially you get into this really really relaxing position wherever you can be or you can afford to do so um granted this probably isn't the most convenient one for any given place but you will understand the process of uh in your free time how doing this is beneficial and it's the same thought process of switching your focus that box breathing does only you're doing it with alternating what nostril you're breathing in from breathing in let's say from the left one and then releasing through the right one and then likewise breathing in through the right one and releasing through the left one i apologize if i sound weird doing this it's a very very weird technique but essentially why is this i'm bringing it to the table because it also helps transfer your focus into keeping it on your breathing and how is it coming in how is it coming out how long do you hold it for there's um i believe it's equal or equivalent breathing whereas essentially why is this you kind of get into this mantra pose of uh, meditation you just relax wherever you are where you're planning being and it's just regular breathing you're just But you're keeping it at a consistent pace. Your focus isn't on how your air is coming in or out. Your focus is just on making sure that you can replicate it every time and keep it consistent. So a lot of people will use a certain phrase or a mantra and repeat it as they end doing the breathing inside of their mind to keep a time pattern. So like when you end up seeing somebody breathing going, oh they will usually keep that own phrase to a certain length so that way their breathing pattern matches it and it's always the same amount of breathing in the same way every time still controlled form of breathing um there is the diaphragm breathing and uh this is probably the last one i'm bringing to you guys um an aspect to today this one i feel is important in the sense of it not only helps you control your breathing but it helps you become more aware of the muscles that you're using as you're breathing them and therefore it is a practice to strengthen your breathing breathing pattern and strengthen yourself in a way um not necessarily like a muscle workout but you you keep your focus on your breathing and how your muscles react and it helps keep you in tune and in control of what you're doing so one of your hand usually they recommend you end up doing this breathing technique while you're laying down your head's on a pillow and your knees are slightly bent um essentially you put one hand over your chest and the other hand you're going to put right below the rib cage around this area within the essentially you're covering the distance of your diaphragm and you're not applying any force you're just letting them rest there they're they're kind of like your meters they're they're, they're feeling things out and as you deep breath within you're going to feel your muscles in each one of them inside of your diaphragms as they compress retract move and function and the one in the bottom that you end up having towards your rib cage is kind of measuring out how your lungs are filling up with air and how those muscles also contract likewise when you release you're still feeling that engagement of movement of um your diaphragm expanding and retracting likewise your lungs expanding and retracting and altering keeping your focus towards what's at hand at the moment so you can maintain uh, a good um pattern of your breathing allowing you to keep things in control now um all of these different techniques that i'm i'm bringing to you guys today they uh they do they can potentially end up helping anybody out with controlled breathing um breathing as i've already mentioned in the beginning of this does end up helping out with keep your overall mood in check there is many times and i believe i mentioned this before in one of my past videos where when your temperament um is is altered when you're frustrated 
your breathing becomes short of breath. And as it becomes short of breath, you lack the oxygen inside of your bodies. So in keeping these techniques help keep a regulated form that the oxygen goes into the brain and circulates to the body in a way that you can function and, and control your, your feeling mechanisms, how you feel at the moment, how your body's reacting, how tense it is, how relaxed it is, and all things of the sort. And this ultimately helps us make better decisions and helps us keep in focus, really keep a thought pattern, allow us to respond to our circumstances as opposed to reacting to a circumstance. There's a big difference between the two. Um, I'll probably get more into depth on that in a different video. But essentially wise is, if, as long as we can maintain our breath in control, in many ways we'll find that making the decisions of life become easier because we're not making decisions based off of no thought. There is always time to breathe and there is always time to think. And the two are very correlating and in union with one another. So I'm hoping this ends up bringing help to anybody out here who might be listening to this. I appreciate you if you're listening to this. I hope this helps you in any way, shape, or form. And I hope it helps as many people as it can out there. Um, the next video of meditation, um, I will definitely go in depth on next time. Um, but I just wanted to break down the breathing one for now. Um, so with that being said... Thank you for listening, with all the love in the world, as always, until next time.